UCLA climate scientist warns tonight this extreme heat could last more than a week, which would make it the worst heat wave in over a decade. Kick on Lori Perez with more. I think this is probably going to be, especially across uh, inland areas, one of one of the biggest heat waves we've seen um, this decade. Daniel Swain is one of the leading climate scientists in Southern California. He works at UCLA researching extreme events, and he says this heat wave will be one for the record books. We think a lot about wildfires as being dangerous and floods as being dangerous um, and earthquakes as being dangerous, but over the past decade, uh, I believe the heat waves in California have actually um, caused more human harm than those things put together. He predicts we could see 100 degree temps inland for nine days or more. And as everyone cranks the AC, he's warning the state's electrical infrastructure could overload. Already tonight, some cities are seeing rolling blackouts, leaving some in the worsening conditions. Heat waves and heat extremes in general are sort of an underestimated killer, actually. Prolonged heat waves can kill people who don't have air conditioning, especially seniors. We need to keep the air moving. We need to do our best to stay cool. And most importantly, we need to stay hydrated. Swain is also concerned tens of thousands of people who live inland will pack the beaches. Big crowds could spread coronavirus. Everybody goes to the beach at once. There's going to be a lot of people in relatively small space. So maybe you'll head to the mountains, right? Except there, the heat wave is bringing the potential for thunderstorms, which could bring heat of another kind. That can bring lightning, and lightning can potentially cause uh, wildfires. Not to mention the increased risk this summer from illegal campfires. More campers than ever means more risk. This weekend, we're planning to have fire prevention officers an engine staffed um, late into the night to make sure that if there is a call or a report of smoke or an escape fire that we can get resources right on it. If that happens, the heat wave won't help fire crews day or night. In fact, that's what Swain and firefighters are most worried about. Many places will stay at 80 degrees at night. It's the high temperatures and low humidity with no recovery at nighttime with the temperatures dropping and the, and the humidity coming back up, which creates extreme fire danger. Now we're going to have that same high activity throughout the day and night. In Marina Del Rey, Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.